Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on Conics for Conehead. This is part two of uh, four series parts. Then we're working on parabola and ellipse. So there's first example here. Let's get started. We're going to be doing completing square. That's how we're going to recover the form itself. Let's move the number over and move the 6y over. The reason is I want to factor this minus 2x over here. I'm going to add a number, subtract a number right away so that I don't change what I started with. Minus 9 equal to 6y. So I swap with those two numbers. And the number I'm going to put in there is half of this squared. So that in our case, it happened to be 1. And then what I'm going to do is regroup the first minus first three terms. So minus 1 here, minus 9 equal to 6y. And then, then let's clean it up here a little bit. So you have x minus 1 squared with a 3, minus 3, minus 9, that's minus 12, equal to 6y. Oh, I should have just divided by, but that's all right. Let's divide it by 3 here now. x minus 1 squared minus 4 is equal to 2y. Let's do it one more time. So y is equal to half of x minus 1 squared. And then I have a minus 2. Okay. This, of course, is a linear term. If you want to, is y. So curve is on y-axis. Had it been x and y reversed, you do the opposite. So this is, of course, a regular parabola with a vertex setting this one equal to 0. You have x minus 1 equal to 0, or x equal to 1, and y is equal to minus 2. Okay, so 1 and minus 2 is your vertex, and the curve goes like this. Right, that's just our regular problem. I went ahead on the Wolfgram and um, Wolfgram Alpha and plot it out. You see, it's the same equation up here, and the plot looks like that. All right, let's move on to next one. Next case, we have a little bit of different one. We have a 4x squared plus y square equal to 8x plus y. All right, let's see what we have to do for this one. Okay, before I go there, math break. You ever feel like you're prone in a bunch of fresh groups? Sometimes I do. All right, back to math. So, gather all the x terms together y squared minus 8y equal to 0. And I'm going to pull the 4 out. So x squared minus 2x. I'm going to add something, subtract something. Plus sign is the smart one that keeps everything together. So you have either a circle or ellipse. In our case, it's going to be a ellipse because the x term and the y term does not have the same coefficient. All right, so here I'm going to put a minus 2 divided by 2 squared, so it's a 1 and 1. And minus 8 divided by 2 is 4, so it's 16 and 16. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can completely factor a complete square here. So I have x minus 1 squared uh, minus 1 plus, let's see, what do I have here? y minus 4 squared minus 16 equal to 0. Okay, almost there. 4x minus 1 squared minus 4 okay, plus y minus 4 squared minus 16 equal to 0. Okay, let's gather out terms. x minus 1 squared plus, this is the, like I said earlier in part 1, this is the smart term, minus minus, so I have a positive 20 over there. Now, because the x, y scale are, has different size, we need to normalize it. So divided by 20, so I have x minus 1 squared divided by 5 here, plus y minus 4 
squared divided by 20. Okay, obviously this is the bigger number, so the major x is um, uh, y, so the ellipse is going to look elongated and off center at 1 and 4, so it's going to be looking like that, a little bit longer along y direction. Okay, so the center is at minus uh, positive 1 and positive 4. And then the major x is, remember to take a radical roots because this is actually major x squared. And then the minor one is radical 5. Okay, so I went down to the Wolfgram and plotted out. So here's the, it looks like circle almost, but it's actually not. It's elongated a little bit. Here's our center and elongated along the y a little bit longer. So this is radical 20, and this one is radical 5. So that's the scale. All right. Hope this one is clear for you. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.